morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today. Today is birthday week for Gabby. I am so super excited for next weekend because I'm excited. We have a couple of little tiny surprises. Uh, Gabby can't have a birthday party, obviously, so we're trying to figure out a way. I'm stuck in my room. I love that. I mean, she's she stuck in her room and she loves that. Can you do that dance again? She just did a little do dance. dance. All right. Okay, hit the wall again. No. So she's just saying, I'm stuck. In Look at that bag of dog food. It has a nice border collie on it. It's all crushed. And then Gabby's bag of dog food has a beagle. I hope your border collie doesn't turn into a beagle. No offense against beagles. Comment down below what your Roblox username is so that we can play. Whoa, really? What? I want some new friends to play with. That's so super awesome. I'm excited for you. Because that's basically how we found Olivia and Peyton. Yeah. Key to making great mac and cheese, add six cups of water. Not my father who just fills it up. Six cups. Is that less than what your dad puts in? Yes. Oh, yeah, I don't put, ooh, I don't ooh, fill ooh, the whole pot up or either. Or more, we don't know, but he probably fills it up to halfway. Comment down below if you play Adopt Me on Roblox. So if he wants friends to play Roblox Adopt Me, right? Yes. And Shark Bite and Rosita. People ask me every day what's your Roblox so that they can play oh. with you. Mine's Just Silly Sophie 2. All caps. Just Silly Sophie 2, just caps. I'm a bit nervous, Sophie. What? Just comment down your username below so I know it's you. Oh, do you want yeah. mine? Mine's or let's think of a code. 666. 666 because it's the sign of the devil. Wait, what's yours? Chino and Gabby 666. I had to create a new account. I was storming Gabby before. And then she got a gift card. Couldn't remember password. Blah, blah, blah. I had to see. God's trying no, to tell you. I didn't want to get kicked off randomly and lose all my Adopt Me pets or all my things. So Why would you get kicked off randomly? Because, like, if somebody hacks my account or if it makes me re sign in again, which it made Sophia, then well, I want my account. Wait, let's think of a, yeah, only friends, no enemies. Let's think of a password that they can say when they find you on Roblox. What, what could they say? Starfish. All right, so if you come up to Sophie and say starfish, then she's going to be like, hey, oh, you're a friend. A member of the fam. Oh, it's a starfish. Oh, is that because you starfish. got it? She got a fart starfish. All right. And gotcha. it's rideable. All right, got it. I got it. uni and a crow. Gabby, do you want a password for them so that they can know how to, so you'll know that they're a fan? A friend? She's thinking of it. It's gotta um, be 666. It's gotta be, it's gotta be all hail devil. All hail devil? All hail the devil. All hail the devil. All of you guys should find Gabby, hail down, kneel down, and hail the devil. All hail devil, if you find Gabby's account on oh, Roblox. The. Devil. All hail the devil. Because I will say it too. And yeah. If you don't have it exactly right, she will delete you. Because that's the kind of girl she I is. Will, you will sell your soul. She will, she will sell. And, and you will in hell forever. <laughs> yeah, it's total opposite of me. When I was young, I was into babies. I was like Sophie. Remember, not that long ago, I told you guys that I've been cleaning out our basement. I've been struggling. I got buckets here. We stored everything in Tupperware buckets. So every day or most days, I bring up at least one bucket and I sort through it. So that's what this is. Um, and while I do that, I wanted to tell you guys, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of um, wisdom from the view of a YouTuber. I know a lot of you guys are struggling with... Um, comments and pressure and stress and I know a lot of you guys especially kids do feel all that pressure and stress at school just fixing the blinds here um and I just wanted to tell you something that's really been helping me so you guys know in our comments and all youtubers comments that there's like a lot of random comments that aren't mean and they're not kind they're just kind of like a blatant demand or a statement like stop doing that or you're wrong or that's not the right way or just like random things like that like no matter where you go in life you're gonna get those things and i have watched so many youtubers go down a slippery slope 
from all that judgment. I've watched channels completely disappear. I've watched channels change their content so much that it's so fake and scripted now because they're afraid of all the judgments. It's just awful. It's just hard. But I refuse to ever cave into that. And what's worked for me, the only way that I can stay doing our self is to just ignore them. I have tried explaining to people. I've tried um, talking to people. I've tried blocking people. I've tried, tried deleting people. I've tried being mad back at them because yeah, that happens sometimes. But in the end, the only thing that works is knowing where your heart is, knowing what your intentions are and knowing your own life and your own self and just being true to you. That's the only thing you can do. So I'm just going to put this challenge out there for all of us, me included, to just ignore, ignore. It is literally the only way to go forward in life so that you're not giving up a part of your heart, a part of your spirit, a part of you. You just have to ignore. If somebody says something and it is less than kind, and I'll, and most of you guys are always kind. Like, don't get me wrong. This is not a rant about our comment section. I love our day fam. Love them. Um, I But I do know that some people are struggling. So I just wanted to put it out there that the only thing that has ever worked for me is to just is to just remind yourself that you're coming from a good place. Mistakes are meant to happen and it's okay. And I have a theory. I feel like, you know, I mean, when you're young and you're growing up, your parents are the boss of you and they're always telling you, always telling you, this is why you need to do it. This is why, this is what I want you to do. It's always their way. You're, they're trying to teach you. They're trying, you're, you're living in a house full of people. So you all have to act a certain way to get along. And I get that. And that's why people grow up and they move out so that they can stretch their wings and find their own way and that is amazing but I think a lot of times the people that say stuff are still coming from that mentality of learning what their parents are teaching them and what their teachers are teaching them that there's only one way and it's my way and I don't know as is a theory that I feel like because as you get older and you learn to do to trust yourself more than anybody else um, then you, then your comments, or uh, then your thought process really starts to change. So I just wanted to say that to you guys and let you know that it happens to everybody. Every single person in the world gets stressed out on judgments. The only thing you can do is just ignore. Do not let it suck your soul out. Do not let it change who you are. Just continue to be you. That is what the premise of this entire channel is. Just be you. Mistakes and all. Go out there and make as many mistakes as you can so that by the time you're my age, you know a lot more than me. <laughs> Basically, oh, who's Jason? Uh, your brother's uncle. So basically, I basically I found an iPad. The whole ground vibrating underneath me. I was like, oh my god, it's going down. Basically, I have found an iPad downstairs. It's, it's a iPad. Samsung iPad. It was a good one. I tried to sell it. And I just found it there. And I was like, hey, I, I want that. I can use it. I can. I brought it up for myself, and all of a sudden, Gabby snooped. Bought it and it's like oh, my iPad and now she took it back again. So now I got no iPad again. I do not know how that happened, but it is very, very unhappy for me. Maybe she got through the door. Boys are food. Good choice, Gracie. Good choice. Oh, good karate moves, Gabby. Oh. Boys need food. Look, 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 look. How'd they get out? Which is probably, you probably left. Two them. things. One person <laughs> left the rig right by the stupid power cord, the thing. So, so they it not, got knocked, they knocked down. They knocked it off, pulled the thing out off, of it. So it wasn't on. Okay, so that was probably me. That's number one. And yeah, number two is she, w she ended up going through the fence. What fence? The she red gate. The red gate. How are we going to fix that? I put it back. Well, it's you probably, put a brick. It's probably because it wasn't on the fence. So you're telling me that that skinny rake it's heavy, it's was heavy. sitting up here against the wall and that the horses used it to get the plug out. This is like that. Okay, well, I didn't leave it like that. And then they she they pushed that gate open to get to See the boys. The the Go take them food. They're starving. So apparently I 
allowed them to unplug the fence with the misplaced rake <laughs> and then they somehow pushed that gate open. Mm -hmm. And it's a metal um, rake, so it's heavier than a wooden one. The scariest thing on earth are birds in your arena. No, the scariest thing on earth are when horses get free, like you would never expect it. You are a bad girl. So how did you see it? How did you notice her? Uh, so I just looked at the boys like I always do every day. I'm like, oh, look, Finn took his blanket off. And I'm like, that's not Finn. I'm like, crazy! We haven't had an escapee in a really, really long time. Thought we mastered well, it. Chino made Gracie stay there, so. Yeah. Gracie she, will never leave the boys. Was she eating grass when you saw her? Or was she in with the boys? She, her head was up. She was just staring around, like looking around the, the yard. And then um, she went to say hi to Chino. And then she started eating grass. So did you, you think you caught her just as soon as she got out? Uh, no. That's the one good thing though, is that- Do you wanna see what she did? That we're here, so, and, it, and we can always like see when they get out. It's still scary as heck. Willow's a good girl. She never tries to escape. Mm -hmm. Gracie's more adventurous for sure. Okay, so some people have been asking me to do a food, a food, what we feed our horses kind of thing. So I'm gonna do that really quick while Gabby gets ready to shoot a video for her channel. Her channel is always Gabby. Where are we going with this? Okay, so this is all the stuff she's doing to get it ready. The bucket's gotta be filled to the top, I think. You brought two down? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys what we feed our horses. All of our horses get the same feed, mostly. The girls get an equalizer, a balancer, whatever you wanna call it. It's like a vitamin grain. It's called Grow and Win. So basically it's just vitamins and, and they only get a small amount. They both get one cup. That's it, one cup. Gracie gets one cup and nothing else. Willow one, gets one cup and nothing else except once a day, she gets this supplement for ulcers. It's just to prevent her to have any ulcers. Uh, you guys might not know, but recent um, last summer, she ended up having some ulcers, some actual ulcers, um, diagnosed by a vet, but not confirmed with ultrasound or um, scope or whatever they do, um, just diagnosed by a vet. So we found this UTP. It's by her Herbs for Horses. I cannot get it now because um, of COVID-19, so that's gonna be bad. Um, it is also, it's one of the supplements that I found that cures ulcers as well as prevents them. So I've been giving all my horses that. So both of them actually get a, a shot of that every, um, every morning to prevent ulcers. Then um, their other horses, they get a balancer or an equalizer, which is like a vitamin supplement. And they also get a grain with a little bit of molasses in it. It's a high fat grain. It's got 10% fat in it. It's called Cadence Ultra. It's a 14% fat, sorry. 14% uh, fiber supply, more calories per pound. And the reason that our horses get this is because, that our boys get this is because they're working horses. Um, right now, obviously we don't work them a ton, but they get this and it keeps them in great shape. Um, Chino as well gets this stuff and I put it in a different bucket so that uh, to keep it safe it was in a horrible package kind of like the package for our treat bag but it, it had a rip when we bought it and it just was a nightmare to can keep it contained so I put it in here so he gets two scoops of this and in morning so he gets two scoops of this in the morning and at night remember the name of it it's a uh, hundred percent fat so he gets four scoops a day which is the um, a recommended daily dose of that. So he does get that to help him gain weight. So the difference between the boys is that they get, actually that's not true. The difference between the boys is that they get a different amount. So he gets five cups of this stuff and four cups of the equalizer twice a day. And Storm only gets three and three, I think. And I made a mistake, Finney only gets two cups of the equalizer. He didn't get any any fat stuff, any um, 
molasses, nothing with sugar. He just gets the equalizer, which he likes it better. You guys know horses need salt to survive, just like people do. And so we give it to them. They also have all three of the boys have salt licks in their stalls. I should also add that we go through about five, maybe six bags of grain a month. I always buy it weekly. Uh, last time I bought it, I tried to buy it for a month, but I think it only lasted three weeks. So I need to buy another bag each, each time. So I'm going to try that. I'll let you know. our saddle pads kind of set up here i think gabby should put more in rainbow. oh they're in rainbow red orange yellow Mine green blue on hooks. no blue blue and purple selfie's somewhere. just throwing all hers on here yes. remember when we bought these uh insulated rain sheets anticipating spring yeah well we're not getting to use them that's for sure it is seven o'clock, it's time to rock. That's what dad says. We ended up breaching the social distancing. Actually not true, um, my grandkids came here. They came, they stayed six feet apart from me. They were with their parents. They came to drop off a present for Gabby. But yeah, we did, like I finally got to see them. It was big, it was huge. We didn't get to hug or kiss or touch. We stayed apart, but they came. They didn't come inside, they stayed outside. They gave it Gabby. For Gabby's birthday, a she puppy. got $70. They gave her a puppy. And it is here. <laughs> a puppy card. They also gave her money, so she is now $70 richer. The week has started for her birthday, and things are heating up. She got a present today. Did you even Dog food present? yesterday. No, I haven't even wrapped our present. I actually have a present for her as well. And Sam has a present for her as well. So we have two What's more presents. What's present to her? Oh, you didn't see it. What's Dad's present to her? I'm not going to tell you. It's not my place to tell you. Dad, it's 7 o'clock. Time to rock. Let's go down to the horses. So this. This was used in the making of Gabby's video. She has a, Gabby, uh, she has a video up on her channel. <sighs> Gary, what other surprises do you think you'll get for your birthday? Mom. Do you think there will be any other surprises this week? Huh? Do you think there will be any other surprises this week? I don't know. Mom, help me. They're all gonna fall. Gracie's like, is it for us? Is it summertime? You know what, you can do it and I'm gonna watch. All right, you watch. Stop. Oh, this is easy. That's Gracie's. Is it Gracie's? Yes. I mean, Willow. Stop moving around. Here, Willow. She can have. Oh, can spill it. No, it's in here. Right here. Don't you do it. You can tell Gracie rubs on this. Oh, you can tell Gracie rubs on that. That's the problem with having like. You guys see it? Definitely, Gracie. Oh my God. There's some fighting going on in, on in the field. See, this is when you know they're hungry.
In the winter when it um, gets dark really early, they go to bed at like 5 o'clock. In the spring, they go to bed at 7 o'clock. And in the summer, they go to bed around 9 o'clock. You can come up with me. All right, you want me to come up yeah. with you? All right, I'll be right there. Just let me say goodnight. Uh, the ponies have not been fed. So also at nighttime what we do is uh, they take turns. So it's uh, <coughs> Sophie's turn, but Gabby has to come and help bring the horses in because there's three horses now. All right, you guys can handle it? Okay, it's cold. It's literally so cold, like I can't hack it. I'm ready for dry, warm summer. Like I want the I want ready summer. You, oh, and now it's raining again.